Yeah, we got this. Uh, when we first heard about these, we on the internet started researching. And we saw this. And we saw some website where they sell used. Some lady just had posted this in New Jersey, and we sent her a couple of emails asking her questions about it without doing a lot of research on different brands or whatever. It looked like it would work, so we didn't want to lose it since it was a pretty good deal and it was new. So we we bought it from her off of uh, this message board, and she shipped it to us from New Jersey, and we saved probably about a hundred dollars. And you know, she had a puppy, I guess that didn't make it, it was a lot sicker than Ajax and was weak and couldn't move the carts, it was basically brand new. And look at him, he's doing the G.I. Joe crawl. So that's how we have this, it cost uh, delivered to the house $220 and it also has the 9 inch struts and some other wheels, it has some adapters because of his size. And uh, that's Ajax, first time in his walk-in wheels. Pretty nice little setup. It adjusts, you know, it'll get wider and longer as he grows. He should be able to use it for quite a long time if he'll just start to use it. Which I think, this is really the whole purpose of this video, is to get the progression of a paralyzed puppy who can't use his rear legs how it works with these little wheelchairs to see how he makes out or if he starts walking again. I went on the internet and tried to find information out about this and there's basically nothing there, more questions than answers. So I'm trying to provide some answers by just through experience. And that's why we're posting these on uh, YouTube. We're not doing commercials for Bill Jack dog food because they eat it or these walking wheels or other different brands and different varieties out there. This is just the stuff that happens to work for us right now, so no commercials intended. And this is also the first pit bull I ever had. We have two of them now. And uh, they seem pretty nice to me, although I do see the mean streak and <laughs> they shake a lot when they play tug of war. They do have that fighting meanness. And also, I noticed with these pit bulls, unlike my other dogs, Chinese Crested, when they fight and bite, these dogs aim where they bite. And the other dogs don't seem to be quite as picky where they bite. But when these pit bulls get angry, it seems like they aim very strategically where they bite. That's something I've noticed between in the breed already at a young age. Ready to go in the house, buddy? Okay, time for Ajax to go in. Anyways, end the video, and let's get a video of Jadefre over here. What he had to do the entire time. Let's let him off and see what he does. Hey, buddy, you ready to get off? Oh, you're all tangled up in the string. See that? There you go. You're free. You're free to go. Bet you within 10 seconds he'll be over there biting Ajax as soon as he realizes he's over there. <laughs> and that's what Jodefri is going to be getting a lot of because man, he is just non stop. And there he goes, told you. Was it 10 seconds? Mm -hmm. And he just, and he knows he's not supposed to mess with his brother. He's a smart dog, he understands that. But he's gonna go over there and just be by him and accidentally get caught up in a fight. See, he's interested in that little wheelchair too. They're probably all gonna be jealous that Ajax has that chair.